Hi everyone, welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for this opportunity to spend a few moments in God's Word and prayer. This week we're talking about work and how God has called us to maintain a good rhythm of worship, work and rest. Matthew chapter 13 verses 24 to 30. Another parable he put forth to them saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tars among the wheat and went his way. But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tares also appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servants said to him, do you want us then to go and gather them up? But he said, No, lest while you gather up the tares, you also approve the wheat with them. Verse 30, Let both grow together until the harvest, and at the time of the harvest I will say to the reapers, First gather together the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into the barn. We know that the world that we live in has amazing good things and amazing blessings. But this world is also broken. There are hardships that we may have to face. Ever since Adam and Eve fell into sin, there has been toil and trouble amid all the good things that God provides for us. We can find and cultivate all kinds of good food, but we have to work hard for it. Nature can be breathtakingly beautiful, but it can also be viciously cruel. In his parable about the wheat and the tares, Jesus points out the corruption and brokenness in, of this life in this world. And because there is so much of good amid all these damaging effects of sin and evil, he is willing to wait for the time of harvest. This parable describes the work of an enemy he, who tried to destroy the work of the man who sowed on good ground. The enemy's purpose is sowing tares among wheat so that the labor will go in vain. But the wise farmer would not allow the enemy to succeed. Instead, the farmer decided to sort it out at the harvest time. Now this was in the interest of preserving and protecting the wheat. The wise farmer did not separate the tars from the wheat until the time of harvest. In the meantime, the kingdom of God will grow in surprising ways, like huge plants that grows from a tiny mustard seed. At first, it may not even be noticeable, but as it takes root and grows, the good seed of the kingdom will spread far and high, deep and wide, providing comfort and support and rest amid these troubled times that we are living in. We are called to walk wisely. Have you found peace and rest in the kingdom of God? Will you help others find it too? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for teaching us from your word. We thank you, Lord, that your word is so powerful. Lord, that you are teaching us, Lord, even in this world that we live in, amidst this evil, you are calling us to be salt and light. You are calling us to be fruitful, O oh God. We pray, Lord, that you will empower us, give us the wisdom, even as we work, O oh God, to be fruitful in all that we do, O oh God to glorify your name. We thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.